Now we have to analyze the measurements. We need to extract natural frequency, damping ratio, and stiffness from impact test data. This is called modal analysis. There are two ways to activate modal analysis. One from Cut Pro. You can click on the home button and click on model analysis on the top toolbar. If it's a new analysis, click on new and default will be bar 1D which is mostly used by the engineers in the shop. If you store the data displacement over force, click on displacement. We always use real modes. You can use either metric or imperial units. Then there are various ways. MTB means binary data, original multi-f data. You can bring that file from the folder. The frequency range can be selected. You can always go back and change the frequency range depending on where the modes are. And it will pop up this window. The second way you can bring FRF data using another option. If you are already in MultiF, let's say you made the measurement, this is the measurement window, and you can load both of them, both X and Y measurements. Then what we do, let's say we select the X axis measurement, we click this figure here, which automatically activates model analysis software. You can uh, always eliminate low frequency part by saying I want to analyze the frequency starting from 300 hertz to let's say about 3000 hertz. This is the frequency range I am interested in and I say OK. Then the noisy part contributed by the accelerometer is eliminated. These are the modes. Some of these modes are not important. Here we have three most important modes. This one this one and that one. Also, the bottom graph shows a mode indicator function and the red dots indicate possibility of having modes. So I bring it here and eliminate all of them except these four modes. Then I select them. If I want to eliminate one of them, unless I want to, I click on that, it's gone. Now I am selecting only four modes and if you click here it will automatically calculate frequency, damping ratio, stiffness. And that's all we have to do. Let's say we want to include this one too. <coughs> then we deselect all the modes and we lower this one here and we indicate uh, now manually I am selecting the modes. This one, this one, this one, and that one. Then if I click again, it will update. Now it is selecting one, two, three, four modes as you see here. Frequency, damping ratio, and stiffness. These are the residues which are used in calculating stability, shutter stability and vibrations later.
by cut probe, milling, turning, drilling, boring modules. Then I can either save these parameters by clicking File, Save Parameters, or I can simply click this button here, it does the same thing. Then I go and this is X. MTB means uh, binary file, hammer uh, data in binary format, but CMP means computed model parameters. We save that. Now we go back, we close this one, and we click on the Y axis, we do the same, we repeat the process. Here we go. Then here we have practically only three modes. Let's see these, and we want to include the other one too, probably. And let's see, indic let's select only these. These are the most important modes. These are negligible, and I am not touching them. Then you click here, it's done. Then we save these parameters as computed model parameters. And now this is Y axis. Model analysis is done.